Okay, so this is my fourth attempt at trying this tutorial. I don't have much luck with the uh, screen recording software. But I spent hours trying to find um, free patterns, how to make patterns with book folding art, and none of them are clear at all. Or oh, they all use, I mean, you have to do maths and you know, work out the measurements. But this one I worked out yesterday and it actually works. So we'll start. Well, I'm using paint.net. It's really, really easy. It's free, really easy to download, really quick. And it's quite a basic one. So, we need a page the we're going by pixel size now the width is you need to count the pages of the book and the pages that you need to put that's the amount of pages because that'll be corresponding to the amount of pixels wide the canvas is so if you've got 500 page book put 500 and that will just work out by itself okay so what first we're going to do we're going to do just a basic uh, lettering I'm going to put one in. You can use any any fonts, change the size, but you need to get it pretty centered for it to fit in the book. Now, if I, we've got the pixel grid on, so if I just zoom in and show you what the pixels look like. Now, each of these pixels, each of these lines of pixels are the pages of your book. And come out. Now first you want to take the grid off because you need to fill these letters in and they won't fill in if you've got a grid on. So go to the fill bucket, fill in paint bucket, and you need to choose, change this to narrow vertical and then fill in these three. So now we can go in and zoom. You can see the edges are a bit blurred, not very clear. So if we go to adjustments, go to brightness, contrast, contrast is all the way up. Okay, and these are a lot more crisper and easier to see once you've printed off. So that's just a basic word. Next, we're going to go and just do a basic shape. So, new page, same again, the amount of pages that are in your book, that's the amount of pixels wide you need the canvas. Oh, and of course, you make sure you've got the the height of the book as well. Me measure the height of the book. So we go to shapes. We've got a heart already selected. So we drag a heart. See, I've got the brush width quite big. So, I mean, oh, this is the one I done earlier, which is an, uh, a hollow heart, and it worked really well. Gave the 3D effect of the a heart with the, the hole in the middle once I've uh, I'd folded the book. So you can do that. Then you do exactly the same. Zoom in, and you'll this, and you'll see that it's not very clear. So do the adjustments again. It should automatically be on the hundred. Yep, yeah, is there? And it's done it already. Okay, you put the grid on, you can see these are the pages of the book. Come out. Now next, if you want to do a solid heart, it's really easy. Just go to your paintbrush and it should already have that you fill narrow verticals and then just literally colour this in. Colour it all in. Yeah. There you go. Zoom out. That's it. That's your uh, heart template for your folding book, and you can do any shapes and sizes. I mean, you can copy images from the internet and silhouettes and paste them onto here. Cut and paste. Um, there's a really good. Uh, there's lots of tutorials to use Paint.net on YouTube. Just to it'll show you how to use the like the lasso tool. 
and um, the magic wand. So, but that's the basics for making basic templates.